Hello, my name is Arun Garg. I am the president and chair of Canada India Network Society. It's my pleasure to share with you an update on Canada India Network Society. Our journey started in 2010 with Canada India Network Initiative 2010. That was a major conference where delegates from India, Canada, and many other places came. The major recommendation of that conference was establishment of South Asian Health Institute. Institute to build capacity in Fraser Health to serve people of Fraser Health of South Asian origin. And boy, oh boy, we were far ahead. The COVID showed the presence of that institute helped so much with vaccination and now with overdose crisis. Our journey continues. We have achieved a lot, but a lot still has to be achieved. We followed that in our next major collaboration was with the government of India, Human Resources, and British Columbia Institute of Technology, where we made recommendations, set standards on allied health training. The India's need of allied health are in hundreds and thousands. And this is where, in working with British Columbia Institute of Technology, we were able to provide government and its working groups with the standards, with the capabilities, with abilities, with the, all those things which makes human resource come alive. So Canada India Network Society has been instrumental in facilitating and meeting its mission of building healthy civil society. As part of continuation, we focus on lowering the burden of chronic diseases to build capacity in diseases like diabetes. Diabetes and other chronic diseases have a very high prevalence uh, among South Asians, so it's natural that any links we build in health, uh, we incorporate those. Uh, in, uh, in building the capacity and lowering the burden. We collaborated with the Institute of Health System Transformation and Sustainability, and now I'm so pleased to share with you that we have a South Asian desk in Institute's um, BC uh, Diabetes Network for Type 2. This is a major accomplishment uh, through the work of Canada India Network Society we will continue to build on it, uh, engage the community, uh, empower the community, educate the community, at the same time have an awareness on how to lower the burden through self-realization and self-management. To achieve this uh, awareness, we are connected with the local media. We work with local media like Harpreet Singh Show, uh, Dristi Media, Spice Radio, Red FM, and other print and social media to reach to as wide a group as possible. Our work is engage the individual, engage the community. In a, some way, you could say it's a translational knowledge uh, to, to lower the burden of chronic diseases. We, have cover, we cover both print media and digital media and social media. Canada India Network Society, as a catalyst, continue to build these links, uh, and we see this as one of our major uh, plank going forward. As the name suggests, Canada India Network Society, not only we have projects and work in Canada, uh, and especially in British Columbia, uh, but we also have projects in India. We seek partners, we work with our partners, and we uh, develop capacity in the areas of uh, local needs. One area we identified in our CINI 2018 was related to leadership. How to develop leadership, how to develop uh, management skills for Indian health, to Indian health personnel. We were very fortunate to develop uh, collaboration and partnership with our Indian partner, CAHO. Uh, consortium of accredited health organizations, along with our Canadian partner, Leeds Global. We develop uh, online courses, and these courses are now available and being used 
by Indian health uh, personnel. We will continue to build on this link. We will continue to build on this uh, tool, which will be taking in Canadian management, Canadian professionalism, Canadian ethics as in healthcare, but contextualize it for India. This is a major achievement from 2018 CINI. Canada India Network Society looks for sustainable solutions. Canada India Network Society looks for innovation. Since 2018, we have embarked on lowering the burden of chronic diseases, uh, non-communicable chronic diseases like diabetes, depression, heart disease, kidney disease, etc. We have chosen to work directly with the community and with the individuals. And our main plank and our main anchor is how to empower the individual for self-management, self-realization. This is where we have really focused on uh, cultural context. We have focused on what is important to the individual, the role of uh, self-realization, lifestyle interventions, and how to empower the individual in the true sense of uh, mind, body, and intellect. We are very pleased that uh, this area continues to grow, and COVID again showed that the individual plays such an important role in their own health. And uh, Canada Indian Network Society, through its partners, through its collaborators, will continue to develop uh, this area where we hope to have capacity in the community and direct engagement of the people for their own self-care under the banner of integrative care, integrative thinking, integrative solutions. To further this uh, goal, we have Indian collaborators and Indian partners. We are very pleased to have collaboration with S. Vyasa, S. Vyasa Premier Institute uh, with the Chancellor, Dr. Nagendra. And we support online courses, which then can be taken by healthcare personnel and the use of integrative thinking and integrative care and how to have fusion of best of East and best of West in chronic diseases. We are very hopeful that joint programs can be developed with Canadian academic institutes and it could be incorporated in the uh, traditional training so that better sustainable care can be provided. CINI 2022 has major emphasis on integrative care. We'll be profiling six practicing physicians who have incorporated lifestyle medicine in their practice. Canada Indian Network Society believes this is the way of future for chronic diseases, for community care diseases. We have a very good healthcare system for acute care, for acute institutional care. We have a huge gap in chronic community care. This is where this area of uh, empowering the individual, building the community capacity, bringing multidisciplinary approach to health will be of immense value in lowering the burden. Canada Indian Network Society will continue to work with its partners in developing academic capacity, human resource capacity, and training capacity. So beside focusing on chronic diseases, lowering the burden, and leadership, we continue to build our collaboration with various players, various organizations, various community organizations, various uh, non-governmental organizations and of course government and health institutes to develop awareness. We have major collaboration with uh, uh, groups like uh, uh, Diabetes Canada, with, uh, with Kidney Foundation, with Institute of Health System Sustainability, with BC Diabetes Network and we'll continue to work with our media partners to increase this awareness. Recently, we embarked on uh, men's health and women's health, collaborating with Men's Health Foundation through their network and through their um, communication um, organizations and communication products. 
Similarly, we have CINE 22 with a major emphasis on women's health. Canada India Network Society is collaborating with researchers at the University of British Columbia in lowering the barriers in women's health, a screening program, uh, the diagnostic programs, and why um, South Asian uh, women uh, have a higher incidence of these diseases at the same time facing a barrier of care. We are very hopeful that these projects will lead to um, lowering not only of the burden, but early diagnosis, better treatment, and Canada Indian Network Society will be fulfilling its vision of building healthy civil society. Canada Indian Network Society believes in very word network, so we work with collaborators, with partners, and I want to recognize some of our founding partners, starting with Fraser Health, Simon Fraser University, Kwantlen Polytechnic University, Poly, uh, B British Columbia Institute of Technology, University of British Columbia. They all have supported us from day one. They continue to be our founding partners. This year, we have added a unique program of artist as a healer and collaborating with a community organization, Indian Summer Fest. This is very exciting and very encouraging for Canada Indian Network Society to be part of this. CINE 2022 will be featuring some of this work on women's health, on integrative care, artist as a healer. We'll continue to build on those recommendations. Obviously, Canada Indian Network Society is uh, very fortunate to have very supportive board of directors. I recognize their work. We recognize our sponsors, our media partners, and we look forward as we build future better healthy societies.